Today let's take a look at some of the gaming mice under the price tag of rupees 4000 that might help you climb the ladder towards top fragging. And for that we have the Logitech G402, the Asus ROG Strix Impact 2 and the HyperX Pulse Fire Raid. So sit back, relax and let me help you choose the best mouse suited for you. So first up, um, which one should I pick? Alright, the Logitech G402. The thing literally looks like something that fell from outer space. I, I was a bit skeptical about using this one because of how oddly shaped it is. It has 8 programmable buttons which you can customize according to your liking by using the software that it comes with. If you compare this with another chonky boy here, HyperX Pulse Fire Red, you will see that it houses 11 programmable buttons. Now this one, the ROG Strix Impact 2, it looks like a midget in front of these outer worldly mammoths and because of its compact design, it only houses 5 programmable buttons. The more the buttons, the more you can assign them for various tasks and make use of macros as well. The Pulse Fire Red has 5 buttons to the left of the mouse and 4 of those actually seem to be crammed in. I accidentally hit one or the other button unintentionally more than a few times. It would have been better if they spaced them out a little. The thumb button placement on the G402 and Strix Impact 2 are almost similar. However, the ones on the G402 seem to protrude much. The buttons of all three mice are made out of good quality plastic and I did not find any flaws in that. The tactile feedback and click sound on the G402 was a bit more satisfying when comparing it to the other two in question. None of these mice add loud buttons which I personally like because then it doesn't disturb other people. As for the scroll wheel, the one on the Pulse Fire Red felt a bit janky and the tactile feedback wasn't as satisfying as the other two. However, the Red is the only mouse from this list to have side scroll wheel buttons. The Strix Impact 2 has a rather sensitive scroll wheel, so if you scroll a bit too fast, chances are you'll click it by mistake and you will be scrolling down 10 pages at a time instead of just one. The scroll wheel on the G402 has a rubber finish and it was smooth. For me, the Strix Impact 2 was a bit too small and a little too light. It weighs in at just 70 grams while the G402 weighs almost twice as much. And the Pulse Fire Red plays the middle field at 127 grams. Some people prefer lightweight mice while the others prefer heavier ones. In my experience, it was a bit tough to hit flick shots with the lightweight champion here since I kept flicking my wrist too far off. This depends from person to person. So be sure of what you require in terms of weight since none of these come with any adjustable weights. Feel wise, the G402 has a thumb rest which is quite helpful if you tend to use the thumb buttons a lot. The Pulse Fire Red on the other end is slightly curved upwards which kind of gives you the feel of it having a wide base. But it's just the hump that gives you this illusion. Some people may be comfortable with the eye arch while others may go for the flat mid arch feel. This is where the Strix Impact 2 comes in. It sticks to the simple and minimalistic mid arch design. The G402 has some rubber padding on either side of the mouse for better grip. And so does the Pulse Fire Red. For some reason, the Strix Impact 2 decided to not add the rubber pads. Instead, there is just a bit of a texture to both sides which is good. But I prefer rubber grips, especially for longer hours. It's worth pointing out that just the ROG Strix Impact 2 is ambidextrous while the other two are suited for right hand users only. Now DPI is one of those things that makes or breaks a deal for many. Simply put, DPI means dots per inch. It's basically a sensitivity for the sensor. The higher you keep the DPI, the more intensively the mouse will react to it and vice versa. DPI usually ranges from 400 to 16,000 in gaming mice. And the Pulse Fire Red here goes up to 16,000 DPI while the Logitech G402 can go up to just 4000 and the Strix Impact 2 can go up to 6200 DPI. All three of these come with on the fly DPI buttons. You can also use the side buttons on the G402 to increase or decrease the DPI a notch. As for the HyperX Pulse Fire Red, you can use the button just below the scroll wheel to adjust between the DPI presets. 
the Strix Impact 2 goes for a rather unorthodox style of placing the button. The DPI button is placed underneath the mouse, right next to the optical sensor for some reason. So if you want to change the DPI of your mouse mid-game, you will have to lift it up and hit the button. Not really efficient. The Logitech G402 and the HyperX Pulse Firelight both come with a sniper button, while the ROG Strix Impact 2 misses out on that one. A sniper button basically helps you switch to a certain DPI setting that you have already set up inside the software. Talking about the software, you get the Logitech Hub with the G402, the Armory Crate with the Strix Impact 2 and the HyperX Ingenuity with the Pulse Fire RAID. Setting up the customizable buttons or changing DPIs inside the software was not an issue for either one of them. You can change the lighting style and colors in the software itself. Talking about lighting, the HyperX Pulse Fire RAID and the ROG Strix Impact 2 both come with RGB, while the G402 sticks to just a light blue color. You get a scroll wheel light, a light on the ROG logo and a pair of headlights as well with the Strix Impact 2. The Pulse Fire RAID gets the RGB treatment in its scroll wheel and the HyperX logo. The G402 is rather simplistic, only the logo is lit up. As for onboard memory, the G402 only has one profile to its name, while you can add three profiles to the Strix Impact 2. You can make as many profiles as you want when it comes to the Pulse Fire RAID, but the mouse can only remember the default setting. As you can see, I had no trouble tracking the enemy, pre-aiming the crosshair, controlling the recoil and overall movement with these. After all, these are gaming mice, they are meant to do this. As of today, the Logitech G402 goes for a price tag of Rs 2300, while the ROG Strix Impact 2 goes up to Rs 2990 rupees. and the HyperX Pulse Fire Radiator can go up to a price tag of Rs 3990. So, which one should you buy for your gaming sessions? So if you are someone who needs a lot of buttons on your mice, be it for using abilities in your game or for using macros a lot, you should go for the HyperX Pulse Fire RAID. But if you are someone who likes something more compact and lightweight, well the ROG Strix Impact 2 will suit you the best. Both these mice have a good RGB lighting as well if you are into those. Finally, if you want a mouse with a good ergonomic design and good quality buttons and somewhat decent lighting effects. Well, the G402 might just do it for you.